In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the tool with an XRM toolbox named as Environment Solution Comparer. As the name indicate, it compares installed solution version between different environment. Now this plugin basically is developed by Neuronaut. This plugin compares the installed solution version between different environments. So that means you connect to different environment, view all the solution listed within different environment and then try to compare it. Now the comparison can happen uh, between your dev, stage, prod, UET, pre-prod, those kind of environment. Now the use case for this particular application is that say take for example if you're building a solution and if you want to compare the version which is installed in the prod and which is installed in your dev or UET or stage then this is a nice utility. Now, not necessarily this is only useful for your custom solution, but think about it like your entire environment, like which Microsoft uh, also uh, uh, installs a couple of solutions within your Dataverse environment. So if you want to compare the version of those Microsoft or any custom uh, publisher uh, solution within your environment, that also you can compare. So this solution, uh, this particular application lists down the solutions for all the environments which has the same solution, differences between the environment, missing from the environment, and present solution but not visible. So there are many solutions which gets installed in your database environment. Now it is quite not possible not to view, it's not visible within your Power Apps environment. So if you navigate to make.powerapps.com and if you click on solution, you will see some sort of solution installed within your environment. Now, there are much more than that. So this particular application will make that solution visible. Now, there is an ability to compare more than one environment and cite the differences between those environment. You also have an ability to export the comparison to Excel file. Export command line execution. So you can also uh, export the command line log execution as in when you start uh, doing those comparison one by one between the environment. Now this is how the application looks like. So just to give you a just a brief introduction, uh, on the left hand side you will see environment. So you can connect various environments. So I've connected two environments, Kirish Dev and Kirish Pro. On the right hand side you will see solution list and solution component. Solution component is work in progress. Solution list is basically listing down all the solution which is available in both the environment and their corresponding status. So, if you see anything which is in, say, gray color, this is present but not visible. So, if you navigate to your make.powerapps.com, you will never see the solution as to his application extension, as to his application roles, because these are quite internal solution, which is not made visible, not made uh, to view for an end user. Now, if you see anything in yellow, it cites that there is a difference between both the environment. So Girish Dev and Girish Prod over here, the publisher is Microsoft first party. However, Girish Dev has the solution, but Girish Prod does not have. So like this, you can view uh, uh, items in green. So in green, if you see both the environment has the solution and with the same version number, there is a convention. M stands for manage and UM stands for unmanaged environment. So like this, you can see the comparison. Now in the bottom here, you will see any transaction you do. Like I have loaded Girish Dev solution and Girish Dev environment and Girish prod environment. Now those are visible in terms of timestamps. So if I want to take the log of whatever command I executed within this application, I can take a dump of that uh, execution as well. Now, there is an option to export all this thing in an Excel. Now, the use case for this is basically, take for example, if there is a say, solution architect who is uh, uh, given the task of deploying the solution into a production environment. Now, what the solution architect will do, the solution architect will use this tool to first connect to the dev stage and the prod environment, and then it'll try to compare. The solution architect will try to compare different environment and try to see what is missing in the prod what is missing in the stage environment and how the dev stage and prod uh, by default solution uh, statuses are um, configured. 
So take, for example, if there are various third party tools which is required for the solution to work properly within the production environment and either it's a first party or a third party tool, then uh, those things can be those version can be directly compared using this tool rather than going into each and every environment using the make.power as portal interface and then comparing it one by one. So <clears throat> let me uh, show you an action environment solution comparer so if i go here in the tools let me search for environment solution okay now i don't have that installed so what i need to do is that i need to go into the tools library now, if i navigate to the tools library if i type environment solution then i need to search for that solution because that's a quite a new solution so let me see if i can get those solution so there is this option is show tools, show tools with update, show tools already installed, show tools not yet installed. So if I just type environment and if I say sort by date, if I click on refresh, so So if I type in environment, then you can see environment solution comparer by Neuronaut. And if I select this, this is the solution which I'm looking for. I'll install the solution. And once this tool is installed, I will navigate to this tool. So environment solution. So I'll just type environment solution which is the first one here. Here it will start loading the uh, the default environment. So what it has done, it has loaded the default environment. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another environment and I'll connect to my dev environment, which is basically the same environment, the dev environment. Now I can, I'll can i connect to the prod environment as well. So now there are two environment. One is this is the dev environment and this is the prod environment for me. Once I get this done, here on the right hand side you will see that the first solution 01 may 2023 this is there in the dev environment kirish 0 kmlk but is not there in the prod environment same goes with 12 jan 2024 right and now there is some there are some solution which is there in the prod environment as you see over here but it is not there in the dev environment so this is an another indication that prod is maybe a bit ahead in terms of some solution there is if you see over here present but not visible now if you see access team active api message extension api privilege extension all these are microsoft first party or microsoft corporation solution which you will not even see when you we're going to make that power apps interface so you will not see those solutions and there are quite a bit of solution which is uh, hidden from the make dot power apps interface now that is one and if you see anything in green which says both the environment has this it is a managed solution like say base html editor portal and it is green means it is there in both the environment so your goal is basically to make it green if you want to do a deployment and if you want to have a one is to one comparison between your both the environment so cds base portal now sometimes this uh, solution get automatically updated or based on your channel which you select now it is very essential that when you do the deployment you do a likewise deployment and it is essential that you compare all the solution before you even make that final deployment into the production environment uh, here there is an option to hide this invisible solution so anything which is in gray is an invisible solution so if i click on hide invisible solution then those invisible solution will be removed from the list and then you can directly compare 
So this one, this line, it says it is there in the dev environment, but not in the production. This line, this is there in the prod environment, but this is, doesn't exist in the dev environment. And if it is in green, then it is there in both the environment. However, if you see there is one solution called as world solution, which indicates that it is available in both the environment. However, the dev environment is at a highest number. So 1003 and 1002 in prod. So that means this solution needs to be deployed from dev to prod. So like that also you can do a comparison. So yellow doesn't indicate that it is not present in one environment. There is a difference. However, in this case, it is available in both. However, there is a difference between the version number. So that's how you can get those uh, information. Now there is an option to export this into an Excel file. So I can export this and I'll save it as so I'll export. And it will open that document. Now here, that document clearly indicates the solution name, the publisher, your dev and prod environment or whatever environment you have. And then you can do a likewise comparison. So take for example, if you want to say compare anything which is not present in the dev, but it is there in the prod environment. So this is a nice comparison. If I clear this filter, I'll compare if there is something in prod which is not present, but it is there in dev then this is a nice comparison. So that means I have custom solution which needs to be put into the prod environment. Now, any publisher which is related to my name is fine, but then if there are other publishers like say Microsoft, so any Microsoft solution or like Microsoft or Microsoft Dynamics 365 Power Pages, okay, if I select those, then this indicates that in the production environment, these solutions doesn't exist. So that means if I am making some changes into the production environment, then I need to first have the solution installed before I even make that uh, deployment decision. So like this, you can get a nice uh, visual uh, a comparison uh, between different environments. On the bottom, you will see any action which you take to connect to the environment will be listed over here. And then you can export the traces if you want to keep a trace then you click on export over here or you can filter by the warning or filter by the info or filter by the uh, information which gets uh, displayed in this particular uh, window so that's it folks this is all about environment solution comparison. it's a useful tool when you want to do a deployment from one environment to another it will give you a nice indication of likewise comparison between different environment and it will make your deployment um, a smooth journey if you do some pre-analysis before you actually do a deployment. Thanks for watching.